organizations, ACCE, the Rise Center, Safe Return Project, and they all created a mural, a book of poetry, and policy research on equitable housing. I remind people that equity is different than equality, right? I always like to put that out there. But um, the project as it was put together was coordinated by the Haas Institute um, for a Fair and Inclusive Society at UC Berkeley. I am a Cal alumni myself. But coming up first, I would like to introduce TJ Sykes. Give it up. Y'all can give it up. Hello, 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 everybody. Can you hear me? Yes. Brother Quasi, I see you. What's happening? Okay, okay, let me get in. <clears throat> Where could you find me? Find me in that section eight with them old molded seats and them broken cup holders inside those rusted black gates that don't lock because we broke them a long time ago so our people wouldn't get killed waiting for them to open. Section eight where they paint over mold and tell you it's gone where it's roaches inside the walls and million dollar cameras on the outside of the buildings watching our every move but can't even catch the enemy. Or is it that they don't want to catch anyone just monitor the activity and make sure everything goes as planned? Section 8, where my people are sent to bed by a curfew enforced by the police, I mean security, or should I say pretenders. They not protecting us. How could they protect someone they don't know? They're just taking orders and running with them. They are the walking dead. Section 8, where my people are woke up at 6.30 a.m. by the loud motor of a leaf blower blowing leaves from one side to another, only to throw them away, interrupting the natural process. Section 8, no water bill, but you have to pay to wash your clothes and all the washing and dryers might not work the day you decide to wash. Section 8, broken, broken and outdated stoves and refrigerators, residents don't even know the management. How could we call this a community? I call it imprisonment. In Section 8, you can walk out your home and smell fresh sewage. Section 8, where they take away the basketball hoops when the gun violence rises. Section 8, where the police shut down candlelight visuals, shirt you without your consent, gun you down for being melanated. Dead bodies in the parking lot while kids play at the park. Five-year-olds asking, do you think they will come through shooting today? In Section 8, hearing gunshots, seeing shells drop, carrying pistols at the age of 13, busting at the enemy. But who is the true enemy in Section 8? I'm that 50 year old man who didn't plan on ever moving until my roof caved in and salmon pink asbestos snowed down on our heads. I'm those 60 year old women who watched three generations grow up in section eight. I'm that couple whose car got towed because we didn't have a parking sticker. Where are the visitors parking spaces in section eight? I'm that section eight boy whose brother received a life sentence who everybody tells they love but never show him they care, who everybody judged before they knew his struggle. I'm that section eight girl who wanted so much attention after her mother died, I threatened to take my own life. I'm that section eight boy who has so much bottled up pain whenever someone says something I don't agree with, I run from the conversation. I am that section eight man who suffered two strokes lost his wife to a brain aneurysm and got shot on two different occasions. Why was I born into section eight? How do I make it out of section eight? My mind is greater than these black gates around me, stronger than the sewage, some stronger than the smell of sewage, more secure than these security guards. I am no longer confined to the negative influences around me. I am on my way out. Give it up for T.J. Sykes from Richmond. We have another poet coming up.